Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So please excuse my red nose. I look like Rudolph right now, I have a cold. But today I have a grocery haul, as you can see. Lots of groceries behind us. Um, so I'm just gonna make this intro really, really quick. If you've never seen my face before, hi, my name is Nora. Welcome to my channel. I do lots of lifestyle, um, cleaning haul type videos lots of grocery hauls at this point um and i'm also going to start incorporating some cooking videos into my uh, channel here so if you're interested in that stuff if you like my face here go ahead and click that red, red subscribe button below and without any further ado let's get started so like i said we have lots of groceries here today i went to aldi's we actually just got a brand new aldi's like the town over it's only about 10 minutes from us so checked that out and it, let me tell you it was beautiful like the most beautiful thing i've ever seen in my life so let's get started so i got this enormous head of cauliflower i mean it's it's huge it's bigger than my head so i got this this was like i don't know like a dollar 69 or something like that was a great price i got two heads of cauliflower for some cauliflower soup and some roasted cauliflower this week i got a bag of potatoes some celery and a bag of carrots I got a bag of onions, and I got two acorn squashes for apple and sausage stuffed acorn squash, which I'm actually going to make a video on when I make that. I got some garlic, flour, I got some pork rinds, I don't know if Mike likes these, but I like these every once in a while, they're really, really good, guilty pleasure. I got some of these kitchen sink cookies, and I actually got these last night, I didn't get these this morning, um, Aaron and I went because uh, that's, you know, what we do on a girls' night out. We go to Aldi's. And these are rich peanut butter cookies with chocolate chunks, peanut butter chips, white chocolate chunks, pretzels, and coconut. They are delicious. If you have an Aldi's near you, go out, get them. They're amazing. But I got some raspberries. These are for Chewbacca. I don't really eat a lot of raspberries. Not my favorite thing. Michael eat them, though. I got some ranch dressing mix and some brown gravy mix. These are for Mississippi Pot Roast. We had it the other day and it was phenomenal, so I just got some backups for the next time we have it. I got two things of baking soda, one to clean Chewy's cage and one to make some biscuits. I got some hazelnut spread, basically Nutella, but like a thousand times cheaper. I got two pounds of pinto beans for some rice and beans and some um, ham and bean soup. I got plastic wrap because we've lived here for two months and we have no plastic wrap. Haven't had any since we moved. Got some linguine for some pasta, um, olive oil, and garlic this week. I got some of this uh, tritoli, three color pasta. I don't know how to say it, but it's really cool. Like, look at it. I thought it would hold pesto really well, and Mike's um, bonus mom just gave us homemade pesto, and it is phenomenal, so I thought this would go really well with it. I got some french fried onions. I was amazed that they had these. Apparently they're a seasonal item though. So, got some of these because Michael requested some, uh, what is it, green bean casserole? I don't really like this stuff, but he really likes that. So, we're having that this week. I got some um, mini beef ravioli in tomato and meat sauce. I also got some pasta rings and meatballs. That's just for when I'm feeling lazy. I got some green beans again for the green bean casserole. Got some baking powder for the biscuits. I also got some four cheese Alfredo sauce. I really just like to have this on hand. I got this, which is pumpkin and butternut squash pasta sauce. Mike and I both really like squashes and things like that. I really like pumpkin sauces. So I thought this would be really nice as well. I picked up some shortening, again, for biscuits and then for baking this Christmas. I picked up some grits for shrimp and grits next week. So some of this stuff isn't just for this week, it's for next week as well. So I got this for shrimp and grits. I got some half and half and some um, whole milk. I'm actually lactose intolerant, but I'd rather take a lactase than not have dairy. So I just, you know, I love my dairy products. So I got those. Um, I got a big tub of sour cream. I know I need this for the cauliflower soup. I got some pumpkin spice creamer, which I literally cannot find, and I'm not even joking. Cannot find it in any big label store 
in this area. I can't find it at Price Shopper. I can't find it at Walmart. I can't find it at Target. I can't find it anywhere. So I don't know if all the um, customers are just buying it up or what's happening, but I finally found some pumpkin spice um, coffee creamer just when I don't feel like making a fancy coffee in the morning. I also got some peppermint mocha creamer. This is actually for um, some peppermint white chocolate tea that I have. Um, I don't use that in coffee very often. I got Mike some string cheese. I haven't tried this brand of string cheese. Um, but hopefully he likes that. Picked up this Priano, Priano? I don't know how to say it. Uh, marinated mozzarella cheese. This I'm actually going to use on some pizzas that I'm going to make. Some pizzas just with non bread that we have in the freezer. So I thought that would be really, really tasty. I got some cheddar cheese. I'm not sure what recipe that's for, but I know it's for a recipe because we don't usually stock that in the house. I got some Kerrygold butter, which was a really good price. It was like $2 um, and change there. So I got this because this I like to put on toast or um, bagels, really anything that isn't a recipe, I will use this for. It tastes amazing. And then I just got some regular butter for recipes and things like that because butter makes everything better. I got some sourdough bread because honestly, not a white bread girl. Um, I like the sourdough breads, the pretzel breads, things like that. So I got this. I got these pizza snacks, the combination with sausage and pepperoni. Um, I was going to get some like mini pizzas just to have on hand. Like last night I was really hungry for no reason and we didn't have anything in the house. So I got these just to keep in the freezer. Got some Hawaiian sweet rolls and these are for leftover ham sandwiches for lunches this week. Because like I said we're having a big ham dinner tomorrow. I got some Millville fruit and grain bars. These are for Michael's desk. He likes to keep them in his desk. There's eight cereal bars in here and they're apple cinnamon. I picked up two things of oatmeal. So I picked up a flavor variety from Millville and this is just regular old oatmeal. It's got cinnamon spice, apples and cinnamon, maple and brown sugar, peaches and cream, which I despise, and strawberries and cream, which is one of my favorites. Then I got steel cut um, instant oatmeal. I don't really know what the difference is, but I like this was just the brown sugar and cinnamon flavor, which is my favorite, and it's just really basic. I can keep this in my desk at work in case I forget to bring anything else. I got some paper towels. We don't use a lot of paper towels in this house, but I like to keep them on hand just in case. And then I got some 100% mango tangerine juice. This is for Michael. He requested juice. And um, that is it for the groceries. I do just want to show you what I got for the household. So hang on just a minute. Let me put all of this away and then I'll show you what I got for the house. This is what I wanted to show you guys that I got at Aldi's for the house. So I got, and I saw this last night and debated on it, but Mike and I were looking for like a, just a mat for outside our landing and I saw this yesterday at Aldi's. I debated on it and I went back and I got it. Um, it's just one of those mats that you can like wipe your feet off on. Um, it says leaves, pumpkins, autumn, harvest, fall, give thanks. And I just thought this was really, really cute, really simple, something we could use for September, October and November, basically up until Christmas. So I thought this was really cute and I picked that up. It was $7. Then I picked up three candles. So the first one I picked up is the cinnamon chai flavor. And these are from the Huntington Home brand and they're timber wick. So it is actually a wood wick. How cool is that? Wood wick candles, if you don't know anything about them, are usually really, really expensive. And they're usually 12 to upwards of $30. This was $6. Um, and let's see here. So it says here, Timberwick candle produces soothing, crackling sound when burning, high fragrance and better burning results. You don't have to trim the wick before, um, before you know using it either. The cinnamon chai smells so good, so good. I don't know what the scent throw is going to be, but I picked up that one. I then picked up the pumpkin butter one, and there's no. Yeah, there's no description on what they are. I didn't expect there to be, but picked up the pumpkin butter one. This one smells 
It smells pretty good. I mean, they definitely smell fake, but I got them for the wood burning sort of thing, the wood wick thing. And then the last one I got is Fireside. This one actually smells really good. This one has balsam in it, so I can't, I won't be able to use this one for long, but oh, it smells so good. This one smells the best out of all three of them. So I picked those three up. So that's it. That is all I got at Aldi's today. That's all I got this week. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.